Uh, so <clears throat> keep an eye, IT services uh, stocks have uh, gone up and gone down multiple times over over the last couple of days as we come into this earnings season, but lately it's been more up. Last week, for example, IT and metals were the two areas which were higher. First rates, 0.4% up on the Nifty uh, index, 25,118. Uh, so, you know, that's a decent start. 0.4 on the Bank Nifty as well, we're at about 51,680, 670 or so. Uh, Sensex up a half a percent. Mid-cap index is starting about 0.5% in the green as well. Uh, market breadth, 1100, uh, 1150 higher and about 700 lower. So that's the uh, picture at uh, this point. So it's 100 odd points on the Nifty to begin the day with, above 25,100, 25,120 uh, basically. And look at the heat map on the Nifty. Just about four or five names are in the red. And everything else, at least to begin the day, is starting in the green. Sirvi. Absolutely. So uh, we do have that move of, uh, you know, about half a percent on the index continuing. Talk about individual stocks. I think ITC is uh, straight away the mover to watch today. Uh, some traction coming in over there with a gain of about a percent and a half. Tata Motors, we were just discussing the JLR trends with Prakash a while back. Those numbers look good, working well for Tata Motors. Bajaj Finance, SBI Live, Kotak Mahindra Bank, SBI. These are some of the uh, BFSI names that are starting off on the positive side as well, about 1% up. ICICI Bank as well, half a percent up. So HDFC Live. Generally speaking, it looks like the entire BFSI complex to begin with is on the upside. Uh, some traction on names like uh, Infi on Hindalco. Again, uh, some of the green over there. By the way, not too many stocks right now negative on the Nifty. The bounce back is continuing. Uh, look for Sipla. Relatively speaking, the so-called safe haven, which is uh, FMCG and some pharma. Sun Pharma, Sipla are very muted right now. Lever is actually not showcasing the kind of bounce we're seeing on ITC. Uh, these are more muted, but otherwise, I mean, for now, it's a positive start. Well, that's right. You know, the stock that's doing well is Heidelberg Cement because there are reports that indicate yet again, you know, we've heard this multiple times in the last 18 months, but there's a news article, unconfirmed though, that says that maybe it's on the block and there could be buyers. So we'll have to wait by for that. The stock actually has been a relative underperformer. For the time being, it's up closer around 10%. The other couple of names that are doing quite well today, you have DB Corp that's up close to 5%. So good move is what we're seeing out there. Volumes yet to pick up uh, on that stock as well. So keep an eye out uh, on uh, that name. A few other notable uh, movers. NBCC, well, it's up close to around 3% to start off. Macrotech developers up 3.5%. So good uh, start is what we're seeing on that one. And Neogen as well, up close to around 3.5%. So a few names that are doing pretty well from the broader markets. On the flip side, a few of them are getting clonked actually. Uh, so we'll pull them up um, for you on the screen. Let's uh, get in a few. Rossell India, that's down close to around 6%. I don't know what's going on there. Volume's not very, very high. PC Jewelers is down close to 3.5%. It had that big run, and now it's coming for some profit taking. Volume's picking up on that one as well. And Jubilant Farmover as well, the stock is down 2.5%. But green to kickstart trade, we'll have to see how much, how long we can sustain these levels for the time being. Both the Nifty and the Nifty Bank are trading above their 50 DMA. Uh, <clears throat> no, absolutely. And, uh, you know, there is a lot to track in terms of individual names, etc. as well. Uh, so CDSL, by the way, if you can have the name up, uh, is the top volume-led gainer right now. Uh, the stock's at about 1420 and it's got large volumes in it for this point in the day. Uh, emphasis is at number two spot, 3% higher, 2940 on emphasis. Uh, so out of the gate, looking strong. Uh, Heidelberg, Nigel mentioned, that's a big pop uh, coming through, 12% now. So 245 or so. Uh, there's Lota Macrotech, which is up four. JK Paper is coming up with about a three odd percent pop. Uh, Aventil is up nine uh, percent. The stock's just under 200 rupees, uh, and it's got volumes right now as well. There's Natco Pharma, which is up three percent. Uh, and what else? Uh, you know, you've got uh, AU Bank up uh, two three percent. Senco, and you'll hear from the management in a bit from now. Senco is up. 7%. So that's a big pop coming through, almost 1,500 on Senko. Uh, and actually, we should just look at PN Gargil as well and how that is opening up uh, and, and, and see if uh, that's the other management that you will hear from in a bit from now. I can go down the list, but then volumes start to taper off. This is, you know, bulk of where the volumes are right now. Uh, you know, on the downside, apart from what we mentioned, DMART is down a little bit more. DMART saw very large volumes on Friday, the highest uh, in at least three years on Friday, and, uh, that's, uh, and it's down another 2% or so, 45,000 shares, not small for a name that size, uh, at the word go. And uh, KRN, uh, KRN heat exchangers down 3%, that's a recent listing. 
Uh, Titan, of course, is down about 2%. Titan outsized volumes in it. Varun Beverages is down about 3%. Stocks at about 562 uh, and uh, so on and so forth. So yep. that's the overall picture right now. So Aventil, the, you know, that's a smaller cap company yeah. that's now become 4,500 crores of market cap. They came out with their number. So that, I guess, is one of the reasons why, in fact, the stock is up and the margins as well are fairly good. I recall we covering this uh, company, you know, five, six years ago when they used to do close to 50, 60 crores of revenue in a year. Mm. In the past quarter, they did 75 crores. You know, one of those defense companies that they were putting in money mm. and doing a lot of research and the numbers are not showing up. Now, I think those numbers have started showing up. So, explains why that one is moving up and volumes high. So, we are just addressing that name. Absolutely. And uh, we should uh, we'll try and have them up uh, on the back of the numbers a little later on the channel as well.